Okay, we can see now we're running the Marlin UI. And it looks like the Marlin UI is made for the screen to be horizontal, which I was unaware of. What's up, YouTube? This is Print Practical. I put the most recent version of Marlin on my Ender 3 V2, and I put it on there with the Marlin UI. And I saw that the Marlin UI defaults to landscape mode, which obviously this screen is mounted in a portrait orientation. And it looked really good with the way that it was displaying the information. It looked like it had nice, big, clear characters on the screen, and I kind of like that. So I'm going to redesign a mount for my printer so that it will hold my screen in a landscape orientation. First, let's pop this LCD off and just push up on it. Pull the ribbon cable out of the back. Just three screws, super simple. So after observing the mount that's currently on the printer, I'm pretty much gonna recreate this, but in the new orientation. So the first step is gonna be me recreating this mounting surface. It's pretty simple. It has two guides along the side and then two holes for these metal pins that are on the back of the LCD. And then these two rectangular extrusions of the LCD ride along these rails to keep the display locked in and firm. So, that's going to be the first part is recreating this top mounting surface. So let me go do that. All right. So I have the mounting surface drawn up on my screen, as you can see. So the next part of my design is really, I have to take this surface that mounts to the printer itself. And I just have to move that over to this face and I need to angle it so that the display is at, let's say a 15 degree angle. So I'm going to go draw that now. This is coming together pretty nicely. Uh, I just want to add some more braces to the bottom, like the original design, round some corners to make it look pretty. So let me just do that real quick. All right, we're all done with design work. Let's get this on the printer, print it out, and then let's see how it looks. Well, I went through a few revisions just because my printer is literally printing like crap. I got it solved now, but I had to make another video on these, figure out why my Ender 3 was printing so crappy. Now we're all good to go. Let's get it mounted up. This is looking good now. All right, well that's it for this one. This mount worked out super well, fit first try, and it fits really nice. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description below on Thingiverse. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.